It certainly does, and you can catch all the action right here on Main Event Boxing Sunday morning. We'll get into telecast times very, very shortly. Interesting stat there, just two years separates the two. Uh, Sturm, 33, Teddy, Daniel Gill, 31. But in boxing terms, a young 31, I'd suggest. Exactly. He hasn't had them terrible wars that can yep. really age a boxer overnight. And um, and as I see, boxers do age overnight. It's, it's, um, it's something that's known in boxing. Um, <laughs> Felix Sturm, he's is, is been... KO'd. Uh, Daniel hasn't. He's got everything going for him going into this fight. I'm looking forward, you know, to him doing fantastically on the weekend. Yeah, I, I have to agree with what Ted said. Their wear and tear on on boxers is is important, mm -hmm. and the longer your career goes, obviously, you know, the more wars you have, the more wear and tear, and you can age overnight. And and Daniel Gill is definitely a fresher, more versatile of these two guys. Felix Sturm has been a great, is a great, great champion. Mm -hmm. But I've just seen it, had a look at his last couple of fights and he, he just seems to be not quite as lightning fast as he yeah. was. He's solid, he walks up, he's got a great jab. But I just think Daniel Gill is just going to be too versatile and too fresh. Boys, let's take a, a little bit of a look now at Felix Sturm. And, and we've got some overlay and courtesy of this, you know, this new millennium, we can all take a look at Felix Sturm <laughs> on Dr. Google or Dr. YouTube, the, the best trainer in the world. Johnny, um, gee, times have changed when you can jump on the old internet and scout your opponent haven't they oh very much so yes it's um sometimes it's good to see them sometimes yeah. it's not so good so um you know you can fight someone that can uh have so many options that yep. you go in with a game plan and if your fella can't go to plan a, a b or c well then you've uh, it's worked adversely for you but it is a, a wonderful thing there's no doubt about it John, from, from your perspective, Daniel Giel, uh, training over in Germany, he and the, the whole Grange crew have gone over and already there's murmurings that uh, there's spies within the gym. People having a look at Daniel Giel training over there. How much can you tell from watching a guy on the pads? <coughs> Not a great deal. Yeah. Anyone can look good on the pads, to be honest, and pads don't hit your back. Um, mm -hmm. Johnny and I discussed this before and Ted, um, you're better off watching previous fights uh, and you know making you setting your game yep. plan from there but you know punching pads gym work it can be totally misleading uh, the Americans are renowned for actually showing nothing in the gym mm. uh, is a young class act Johnny we were talking earlier about the sport needs Daniel Giel and da the, the like of Daniel Giel's this is a very very important fight certainly for Australian boxing but I, I do believe um, with success in this fight, I don't think there'll be anyone that can get in the ring with Daniel Gill. I think that uh, he does improve so much mm. in the levels of um, improvement with confidence and yep. so forth. And geez, he's, um, he's got so much more to give and it's, uh, it hasn't been nurtured yet. OK, let's take a look at the tail of the tape, the, the maths that really matter in this unification bout. And we'll get uh, Teddy to chime in to the back line here. Three centimetres in height to Felix, two centimetres in reach. So no, nothing really separating the two. But from stance and the way they throw their punches, Ted, does, does that tell you another story? It really does. I mean, look, there isn't much in it at all. Um, I think that Daniel's just going to do what he does best. He's going to just keep boxing and boxing. And Felix Sturm lately, has, has, um, other than his last fight, he's gone the distance. He's going to try and... Just, just box back. <laughs> but I think that the, t the tenacity and um, the fact that John has said, you know, with Daniel, he's, 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 he's just growing and getting better and better and better. I think, um, I think it's just going to be a boxing match, Daniel, late. Yeah, they're, they're two classic boxers. Mm. They've, they've both got beautiful jabs, both got very good defences. But as I said earlier, with Daniel, I think he's, he moves better. He's on the move, on the move continually. And if you look at their records, um, Daniel Gill's KO percentage... If you look at the two records, he's got a 53.57 KO percentage yep. in his fights, and uh, Felix Sturm has got a 39.02 uh, KO percentage. So maybe, you know, Daniel Gill, pound for pound, is a heavier puncher as well. Mm. OK, uh, yeah. Daniel Gill, after the break, we are going to talk to the real deal and get his last minute thoughts on what is going to happen on Sunday morning on main event boxing. As we go to the break, the road to Sturm. Daniel won the title in Germany over Sebastian Sylvester. Let's go back to May 2011. Have they given their world title away? What a magnificent fight. A great effort from both men.
We'll say it now. A star is born tonight, and his name is Danny Gill of Australia.